All right, so in front of you, we have these three sides. So let's first label our triangle. So I have inside here a triangle. Okay. I'm telling you that it is a 90 degree triangle. Does anybody know how you mark a 90 degree triangle? What it has to have? A right angled box. Good. Now, with you count the boxes, like this is one, two, three, four. That means that this side is four. What would this side be? Three. And what would this side be? Five. Okay? So that triangle right there is a three, four, five triangle. Now, these right here are all squares, right? The definition of a square is the length and the width are the same, which these are. Okay? So this is a four by four, a three by three, and a five by five. So here is what I'm going to prove to you. This and this equal this. So you should have a pink and a green of boxes. I want you to take the pink one. I want you to cut it down a little bit. And I want you to glue it inside the other box. I want you to take it. Cut it down a little bit, and I want you to glue it inside this box. Okay? The green one, we're going to have to finagle. So, why don't you break it into rows of three? That way it makes it a little bit easier. Okay? So, I have three rows of three. So, I'm going to glue... One here. I'm going to glue one here. And then the last one, I'm going to have to break apart again. Ah. So my one plain one goes there. My other two goes there. Okay, so if I have a right triangle that is four on one side, three on one, and five on the other, if I take the square of the side of four, right, a four by four square, and the square of the other side, a three by three, so I have 16 here, I have nine here, that equals the square of the last one. Okay, so... At the very bottom, what it says is, you just proved the Pythagorean theorem. It states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs, so that's in this case it would be 3 and 4, and c is the hypotenuse. In this case, it would be 5. The easiest way... To tell they are the legs is going to be what we talk about next.